Come on, cause it's it's getting late. I I'm not trying to get into Sunday. Is what I'm trying to tell you. That's um, eleven oh eight. You okay? Foxy Foxy has already left. This oh, doesn't man, pertain man. to hold a conversation with Foxy. Period. Um, or listening to Foxy. Period. Foxy works in an industry where they use so many. Um type words and abbreviations and all this other stuff that it's just like oh sure oh, oh she's a God. nurse I don't know what you're talking about but I can't pretend like I don't know that I'm not interested so this is how I be feeling babe what's up can I tell you about my day today yeah sure oh my god I have to sit down with this all right so, I'm driving to work, right? Mm -hmm. Just driving to work, minding my business, and I get a text message. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm driving, so I'll check it later, whatever. So I stop, get some coffee, walk into work. Damn it. Damn it. That was a cold setup. Because I can't say I don't want to hear about your day. One, because that's going to start a whole nother argument. Two, uh, what time does the game start tonight? I think it's at 8.30. Let me just check on my phone. Nope, 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 nope. Can't pick up the phone. Because then I'm not listening and I don't care. So, what do we do here? Oh, I need to call the guys to see if they're trying to hoop tomorrow. I got to get some new socks. I need to go buy some new shoes too. But, oh snap, she's still talking. Uh, shake your head. Uh, say yes. Say right. Something. Acknowledge. There we go. All right. Coming to an end. I can hear it. You know what to do. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even have anything to do with this. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh my God. It be like that sometimes, though. Woo. You have to... um. And like I said, normal conversation. She had a bad day at work. She had a bad situation shopping or whatever. I get it. I listen. When she talks about her job and she starts throwing that stuff out there, I have mastered the head shake. Uh, and by the way, dude who made this video, sometimes don't, please do not forget to add in the uh-huh and the um. You 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 forgot those two, which is very important because that also shows that you're paying attention. So you have to do. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. <sighs> okay. And what else? You you have to add those things into it. Otherwise, she knows you're not listening. Bravo on oh, not reaching for your phone. Thank you. That's rude. Appreciate it. Don't ever do that. Don't look at the floor. Look at her face. Even if she's not looking at you, you looking at her. You looking at the side of her face, that's fine. Look at her. After that, everything cool. <laughs> Theus, go ahead. Go ahead, because you really look like either. You bust no. up go to the bathroom. Nope. Always be patient and do use your active listening skills and hear what she is trying to tell you. Uh fake it so you can make it. Marlon did the Minecraft villager. The, that's a Minecraft villager sound noise in the background? Or is it at the end or something? I don't know what you're saying. Mm hmm. Or Marlon said right before he played this, Foxy is already, already left. Yeah, she already no, left. No, no, I would have said it if she was here in a way. No, you wouldn't have. I, yeah. yeah. I have nearly told her you plenty of times, honey. If I don't understand what you're saying, it's because I literally don't understand what you're saying. Not because you don't care. I ain't scared of Fawcett. And notice how he whispered at everybody. 
Because when she watches the replay of this, because I'll tell her to, I'm going to point her right to this section. Ah, you, no. Get Tracy. Out. Get out, Pig. Timestamp. Second hour, 16 minutes. It's, yep, thank you. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. Be fair. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have a I've lot of problems with that video. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, yeah, I've been news. married for yeah, a while. I've, I've had the problems with that video, too. So for me... I'll be right back, everybody. Mm -hmm. I've been married long enough that I know that when my wife gets into one of those modes and I just I'm I'm able to actually say to her, hey, is this um a listening situation or am I involved in this discussion? Now, that is for an experienced mm -hmm. relationship. You ain't been with her that long, don't try that. It's very insulting to her if you if y'all still early in your relationship. But I've been married to this woman for so dang on long that she knows my attention span and she also knows that I am a fixer. It's literally what I do. I fix things. So you need to tell me, is this a listening moment? <laughs> you just need to vent? Or she needs to vent. Sometimes we just need to yeah. vent. Right. That's what he's saying. He just needs to listen. But I hate when men do this to me. I'm like, I don't care. I, I gotta sit here and pretend. No, I don't really do that. That That's inconsiderably rude. But it do be some poor ways. I'd be like thinking, dang, are the Niners playing? I mean, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I can identify with that. It's just me first. I'm terrible for thinking that. It is very natural for your mind to wander off. It is hard to stay on one conversation when your partner comes to you and says, I need to unload about work. I know you might not understand some of the, the terms that I use, but can I please use you as a sounding board because I, I need that right now. Mm-hmm. That you should do your absolute best. Now, you that should. doesn't mean that if your mind goes elsewhere, that you you're will. a bad person. But be honest. Just say, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Can you back up a moment? I'm not clear on something. Can Can you... I think it's, it's just the beauty of a relationship that, you know, people need to have conversations. This is a serious, serious uh, moment for me here. You mm -hmm. need to have conversations so that decisions are made well in advance of the situation. And that, that's the way my brain is made. It's why I always have so many tr issues with working with other people and interacting with people, because I literally make my big decisions before I ever encounter the situation. Right. There's very few things I'm going to run into that I have to figure out in the moment. Right. That re that are going to require a momentary decision. So I, I because that's how I am, I kind of take for granted that's how other people are. And they're really not. They just simply aren't. People just wander moment to moment. But if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, then it behooves you to kind of learn each other. Mm -hmm. And fellas, this is mainly at you guys because or us. Because women are very good at learning their, their man. They, they, they know how to push our buttons to piss us off. They know how to calm us down. They know how to distract us. They know how to do all this stuff. Women learn you. Just like your children learn you. And I'm not saying women and children are equal. I'm just saying mm -hmm. when you are not in the power position, you learn the person who's in the power position. It's just that survival. The problem is men, we're usually in the power position, so we're too lazy to learn the positions of the people who are not in power, right? So we don't have to maneuver the same way, right? So if you take time to learn each other, one, she knows that her man is one that ain't gonna be able to hold this conversation. 
Mm-hmm. Which is why she opened with, babe, can I tell you about my day? And he should have mm-hmm. said no. So then right. he could have said, he can't say no. He can't say no. Fellas, yes, do can. not say no. This is a bad you, move. Don't you, do it. Don't do it. Listen to Tracy. Don't do that. Tracy going to get y'all hemmed up. <laughs> what you do, no. if, his, if I have a dude on a relationship with him and he says, hey, I can't take it right now. Okay. I'm not going to get mad. That's different. That's different. If I say, can I okay. unload, unload with you about my work? But if he, he just said no. no. He just oh, said no. I no explanation. It. Okay. Just no. Okay. Right? He's but telling the truth, you, though. I'm, he's I'm, sitting I'm, there I'm with a cup exactly of coffee what, in I'm his hand. I'm exactly what that comes off looking like, Tracy. Yeah. Exactly yeah, maybe what I it comes get off it. looking like. Remember at the beginning of the video what the guy was doing before she walked in and says, hey, honey, can I talk about my day? What was he doing? He was on his phone. He was on his phone or something. So you literally just told this woman, no, I don't want to hear anything about your day because whatever it is that I'm doing on his phone is more important than listening to you. Yes, that's what you have conveyed. Is that right? Is that right? Would that be something she thinking? Absolutely not. It probably wasn't that bad. But the the right woman is going to think whatever he is doing on that phone is more important than how she, he feels about what I went through today. The response is very simple, fellas. If she says, babe, can I tell you about my day? If you are not in the frame of mind to stop what you're doing and focus on what she's going to say, or at least look like you're focusing on what she's going to say, then you say, baby, right now, I, I probably don't have enough wavelength for, for a long story. Is this something that I need to really focus on or, or what's going yeah, on? What do you safe. need? Mm-hmm. Then she will either back off because you just blew her off, but you did it in a way that was disarming, or mm-hmm. she'll be like, "No, I do need to really talk to you about this. This is serious." Well, now you know. For guys, if you tell us this is serious, that flips a different flips in our head, and where we're like, "All right, we in go mode. I might have something I can fix here, help figure out. We can help do that, right? Yeah. We'll go there." Yeah. But you have to. In that respect, we're like children. That's you not have just the guys to thing. guide us mm-hmm. where, <laughs> right? And, and but if you just walk in cold, okay. And some men right. have this thing where, but every man ain't qualified to be a leader. No, absolutely no. Not. But every but there are some guys who, and, and and this is something else that guys need to learn, and you need to learn your woman. Because Thea said it while I was walking away for a second. Some some women want you to just listen. Some women want you to fix the issue. You need to establish which one is which. Well, there's God somewhere can, in between. Yeah, you don't have to fix the between, whole thing then, for them, but you can so, give them some feedback. But we yeah. have too many guys who f- really feel like if my woman comes to me with whatever issue, it is my job to fix it. No, you could just be wanting to vent. You could just be like, exactly. I need to really get this this <sighs> day, and I just gotta get this thought off my chest. See, this, this, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to parallel to what exactly what I was saying. Whatever it is, because I was telling you that Foxy does this to me when she's talking about her job, and she does a lot of abbreviations and throw those things out there to me. I had to come to conclusion that whatever it is that she's telling me about her job, I can't fix. I mean, I can give you the most advice that I possibly can from my point of view, because quite honestly, some of the stuff she tells me is like, that's freaking crazy. But my advice on crazy doesn't mean the crazy is going to get fixed. It's just going to be like, yeah, honey, I understand exactly what you're saying, that that's crazy because it really is crazy. But for me to say, I can fix it? No. Yeah, you can't fix everything. I ain't you there. Can't fix I don't it. work Conversely, there. I don't know the people Conversely, as a, as a female, uh, as a wife, girlfriend, whatever, I can't fix, dude, what's going on in your job. I can't do nothing about it. You can vent all you want. I can give you advice. I can say, hey, walk around the block, take a breather, drink some okay, coffee. Okay, this is going to go to the job and burn the building down. Apparently, that's going to fix it. So what is it, yeah. 
I'm just saying this is a major area of opportunity for me. This is a weakness in my skill set. Mm. Okay. Um, I am a dinosaur, as I said before. I am the man who fashions mm. himself as I am on the wall. I am the man that if something is threatening or challenging, I do not have time to go put together a council. I figure it out. I take ownership of it. We move through it next. So my natural mode is if you bring to me a problem, I am going to try to work with you to solve it. So my wife has learned if she's not in that and it's just a venting thing, somehow she needs to let me know that it's a venting moment. And she needs to also, where well, she's already fully aware that if it is a venting moment, I'm not going to be very useful because in order for me to handle a venting moment, I have to pretty much ignore everything you're saying. I have to shut something. out. But maybe she wants I have, her advice on how to deal with something. But that's just it. If it's a venting situation, right. you're not looking for a solution. You're looking to get it off your chest and get it out, right? Mm -hmm. Get it out of your head and out. And that's, I get it to an extent, but my way of functioning that is somewhat foreign, right? Because mm -hmm. it's not, this is not what it is, but it is how it is, how I, I interpret it. If you have a problem and you do not want me to help you find a solution, then by default, you are saying to me, you want to sit in your mess. And I can't understand that. My brain cannot process that. So what has happened over the years is I, and mainly my daughters is what have taught me mostly this, but I have learned to just ignore most of what's being said and just be present. So you can throw whatever it is at me I'm not taking in much of anything you're saying. You know I'm not processing anything you're saying. And I'm doing my darndest just to let you just blah, right? Mm -hmm. Because is, otherwise, I'm going to be like, this quick. needs to be fixed. And this is what you need to do. And this <laughs> thing is, let me stop you real quick, because I found out there's a third one. There's a third one. There is a fix. There is a vent, and then there's a validation. Yep. Uh, it, it, just, it literally just popped in my head of the validation that, okay, because you, I, I've done it, done, done this on the show plenty of times of saying, okay, am I in a right mind frame to be going when I listen to a video or listen to a story A B C D? Am I thinking process? And you got to put that in a rela relationship too because. If they are feeling a certain type of way, it may be without them saying it, which again, miscommunication, y'all need to discuss this stuff, but it may be a, a validation moment. Like, and he said this, and I said this, but I did this, and he did that. Am I at a right or whatever? Now, we're talking about healthy long-term relationships. I, okay, so please do not do this whole, not for everybody, we ain't talking about you. If you if you start off any sentence with, it ain't, it ain't not, we ain't talking about you. We're talking about healthy, long-term relationships. You really ain't got to do that. You kind of get that A equals B equals C. A healthier relationship is they really would tell you at the end. Now, am I, I mean, what I'll say, am I correct in my thinking and everything? No, they'll probably say something like, so, so, so am I, am I on the right? Am I crazy or is it them? Am I right or is it them? You know, yeah, what's you going learn on? your partner. And yeah, you, you, learn you learn your partner. partner. And here's the word. But it works both ways. Yep, it does work. You have to That's learn your partner belief. both ways. Yes, you that's do. my whole portion. It works both right? ways. Cause like me, you come to me. Hey, if you listen to how I talk, I talk for extended runs, right? No. But if you actually, I know. But <laughs> if you diagram out the things I'm saying, they're all moving a point forward, right? They're all mm -hmm. like 
mathematical pieces that you put them together and you get the whole story. That's very black and white and very regimented. That's not how most people function. No. And especially that's not how a lot of women function. And I don't mean that in a negative sense. It's just a difference in our communication style. So women oftentimes will give you a lot of shadings and a lot of extra detail and things like that. Not because they just want to throw irrelevant things at you, but because they are building the moment. They're bringing you into the situation. So you end up with all these layers. And as a man, if you're like me, who's very action oriented, what I had to learn, and once again, credit to my daughters, is black and white ain't always going to work. Gray ain't always going to work. You have to leave room for the blues and the yellows and the pinks and the polka dots. And the best way to do that when you are as regimented as me is you kind of zone out. Mm 